stretch of land in my mind and remember that I could see the battle here in shadow form. Certain her death lies there, her defeat, her vicious hunt for vengeance or death or freedom or an end. I'm driving a Mustang and it's rusty. The interior of it is musty. I just got passed by some punk in a justy. This rusty Mustang is anything but trusty. Frustration looms as I hit road debris while I'm trying to speed here while on a spree. But a slow moving tractor just shoehorned in front of me. And it's in front of me. I don't need to carry it. I'm going to carry it. I'm going to carry it. I'm going to carry it. <laughs> when one creates phantoms for oneself, one puts vampires into the world, and one must nourish these children of voluntary nightmare with one's blood, one's life, one's intelligence, and one's reason without ever satisfying them. And just days before, I was plucking seeds from pumpkins on the kitchen table, recently backpacked from parking lots and biked away in scattered groups arm planted through the open circle and hand rooted deep in the muck, pulling out seeds like twisting off leaves. Pretty handy city park. Are they rising up to meet me? Thrust hand, elbow deep to fish. Miss, no fish, sun fades. Balance each big toe on upside down trees, hiding like ostriches from the city. I make a mockery of our shame. Spider free fell from the hairs on his foot. Pregnant women lunge, thrusting forward, empty carriages victoriously, under the arches taken as an affront. Gray stockings fall, stretched and stained, filled with leaves and white down. Looking down is a wounded dog. With my other toes, I use the knot. easily stop looking for it entirely if I became confused by an image or a voice that told me something about some strategy for getting love that you know you find through a car or a personal computer, maybe a laptop or a new shade of lipstick. Who is it that I can actually trust? Problems in my bag, too. I made the robot laugh. <laughs> People used to forget. <clears throat> You'd hear the story, but it may be hearsay. From Benny, back from New Battleford, Saskatchewan. Not really the point, the facts. 
He went to town, now he has a new horse. He'd be at the four corners by the fuel pump, next to the horse, in a yellow moiled plain, mostly just under sky, and tell a different story every time. First, just intelligence stopped forgetting. They print the Bible and other stories and sit in a room wearing hats and read to each other. It was the end of hearsay. Now even the idiots remember. The internet has all of their thoughts saved too. <laughs> so we can remember them.